Hello, and welcome back to Wind Waker HD, where we have some mail to get. What have we got? Good morning! Let us link. We have one letter! Here's your letter! Cash on delivery? Oh, I know what this is. Fine! Cheapskate. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person. <laughs> I don't know where that voice came from anyway. Incredible chart. It will show you where the Triforce Shards are. You had to pay for it because I'm cheap. Sincerely, Tingle. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's it. Cop out. Um, I've been playing Toy Story 2. Trying to hit the the shoulder buttons to rotate the camera. Um, let's see. What did I want to do here? There was the thing. I should have watched my last episode before I recorded this. What was it I wanted to do here? Oh, I remember. I was gonna learn the spinny thing. Let's go learn the spinny thing. Greetings, O Master of the Sword! Um, well, such are the costs of being a silent protagonist. Not now. Okay. No. Show him the thing. Yep. Ten. Yeah! Well, I only have... I don't even have one part of the Triforce yet, so maybe I'm not ready for this. Oh yeah, sorry if I end up talking a little funny while doing this. I had the wonderful pleasure yesterday of biting my own tongue. So I'm trying not to talk like this in order to resist talking on my... You know, resist... Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to talk normally, basically. <laughs> but uh, if you hear me sound just a little bit funny, that's why. Uh, biting your tongue stinks. Hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, wait. I'll be to build up power and then release it. We. Yeah! <laughs> you okay, man? Sorry, I'll try and go through the th This is what I mean. Sorry, I'll try to go through the text a little bit slower. The fun part is that I'm probably going to be doing, like, a ton of recording tomorrow. Yeah. Motrin it is. Anyway, I haven't done this, so I should show it off at least once. So he goes from, I have nothing more to teach you, to, your score, your sword skills are at the level of a page. Okay, here's the fun thing to do. Let's wait till he hits. Okay. Oh. It doesn't let me charge the spin. Fine then.
No! Skill mode engaged. Ah! Skill mode wasn't good enough because my skills are not good enough. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really... I think there are some prizes locked behind doing that, but I've never really cared enough to do anything with it, so... Oh, yeah. Do this. It's fine. So, that's all night crests gone. In the future, I can just sell them. As a matter of fact... Actually... Let's see, what have I got right now? Don't need the joy pendants. No, wait. I do need the joy pendants. Do I have the deed to the cabana yet? No, I don't. Yeah, I need the joy pendants. Okay. Um, so I can't sell those. Eh, there are a few things I could sell. I'm probably not going to do the side quest with the golden feathers on Rito Island at this... Or Dragon Nurse Island at this point, so... Eh, I'll just show that off. Because I don't know if it was in the original. It probably was. But it's cool. So, you just drag. Ooh! Heck yeah, I want to sell them at 20. Nice! Got to make up for this chart that I just bought, because some cheapskate sent it cash and delivery. I never make any potions, because there's no point. Once you got the warp song and whatnot, all you gotta do is come back to Outset, and, uh... Bye. You can just get some soup, and the soup is so much better. Ten rupees! Nineteen! That is a good amount there. Bye. I bet you this one glob of blue jelly will go for a lot. Oh, only 15. Ah, might as well. Bye. Definitely don't need the skull necklaces. I think there may be a side quest, but I don't care. Bye. And then feathers. Not what I meant to do. Just hear that button mashing. So try to get through the dialogue box. Bye. There we go. That's a much more comfortable number of rupees. Did I ever show this off? I'm going to first person mode. Actually see the inside of this place. Hey, man. Anyway, bye. Okay, I think that was all I really came here for. Hmm, there's another thing I could start here. Oh, I could, but I don't have enough time to do much with it right now. Frankly, I'd like to have a few more empty bottles first, so... Much as I maligned the incredible chart, let us open it. That's only on the gamepad. Let's see here. Well, where can I go? Oh, wait, no. I don't have to do the Triforce Fetch Quest. No, I don't have to do the Triforce Fetch Quest at all. And I happen to be super close to what I think is the objective I actually need to do before I can start the uh, next temple. Like I said in the last video, this is an example of needless linearity. You can do... No, wait. I can't do this. 
I gotta go get a thing first. Do I have any bait? No, that's the wrong bag. Uh, got a little bit of bait. I can at least go ahead and get this thing marked on the map. What was it I needed to get through here? Iron boots? Yeah, iron boots. This is the one. No, wait. Wasn't the iron boots. What was it that I needed? The power gauntlet things. Eh, I don't need to use bait. Let's see here. Where on the map was the thing? Let's see here. I think... Think this may put me reasonably close. Ah, been long enough since I played through this particular section that I'm kind of forgetting what I need to do. Ah, so this is the Tower of the Gods, okay. Let's see here, look at my map. Gotta love that real-time map in Wind Waker HD, man. It is the best. Oh, it makes this game so much nicer to play. See, is that what I'm thinking of? Wait, have I visited that fairy island? This is what it's like to play Wind Waker HD. <laughs> Where Wind Waker is just like, hey, wait. Have I done this? Have I done that? Because if this is an arrow upgrade... who I'd like an arrow upgrade. Okay. It's right in the open. There's a Korok there. Have I been in here? Looks like I have. Yep. Well, that was a waste of time. This is what I get for don't or for for don't. This is what I get for not marking things down on my map. Where's my boat? There you are. Okay, and actually, thinking about it now, it's a good thing that I just got um, the fire and ice arrows because I need them for this. I'd forgotten that I did, but I do actually need them for this. So I'm trying to remember which thing does what. Yeah, it goes from a ah, peaceful looking place to massive active volcano. Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever showed off my special method for taking care of these guys. Sail straight up to them. When you are this close, they literally cannot target you. It's awesome. And then, you can just hit them from point blank range. And there you go. Easiest way to take care of ocean battles. It's wonderful. Now then. If we tried to go into this island right now, it would kind of burn us alive. Uh, where are you? Yeah, there's no way I'm hitting you. Okay. So we need ice arrows. Which are apparently preposterously powerful. Now, the thing is, this is only temporary. That little timer at the bottom is how long this thing will remain dormant. And then we get burned alive. So.
We need to hurry up. Meh, I don't have time for you, Billy Goat Bird. Um, no! Maybe this is the way. Yeah, this is it. That's nice, they put in some fake paths for you. Okay, fine, I have time for you. Where are you? Because if you're going to knock me off on this ledge... <laughs> I don't think I usually shoot them with ice arrows, but... Hey, that'll work. That's kind of... Creepy, though. Hey, get out of the island! You weren't supposed to clip into it. It's little imp guys that are all glitchy, not you. Go away. Um, so, let's make... Well, hopefully I have enough time. Eh, it's appropriate to scream when going into a volcano. Yeah, that is a waste of arrows. Target him. Oh, I don't need to put you on a switch. I just need to destroy you. So frequently, you have to put them on a switch. Alright, so let's go into the Stargate here. Bonus points if you get that reference. More bonus points if you actually watch the show. Uh, our bracelets. Yeah. With that, you can lift up big face statues. Yeah. Eh, I don't have time for you guys. Was the timer even going that whole time? I don't know. It looks like this volcano is just dormant forever now. We. We we Okay. Now Tis time. Well, it's barely a it's barely time saving, but whatever. Tis time to embark upon the next leg of our adventure as we revisit a place of old that we have once been to and see an old friend. Already we have seen that Prince Kamali has grown, but now... You can hear that music playing. Actually, hold on. I don't remember... If you need a bomb, or if you can lift it. What's down here? I don't even remember. Wait a minute. I know what this is. This is a trial area. The heck? I don't remember this. This is a thing? I don't remember this at all. Well then, we're doing this, because I don't even remember it. Wait a minute, is this a maze? Holy crud, is this a maze? What is this? Why don't I remember this? Oh, 
Well, I guess I'll go to the door that has the torch on it now. So this is that main room. What is this? I forget you. I don't care about you. This place, though. Yeah, it totally is. It's a maze of some sort. What is this? What do I get for doing this? Okay. What about through here? Okay, so that's just back to the beginning. No! This is a new room. I don't even know what's going on! I don't think I've ever been down here or seen down here in any of the stuff I've done with this game. If, it ha if I have, it's been so long I don't even remember it. So I guess the goal is to get all of the different torches lit in this room. This is cool. I like this. Pfft, the goblins. Okay, I'll bite. Dark Knight? No. <laughs> Purple Rupee. Please tell me that is not the only prize for coming down here. I at least want a treasure chart. This is the main room. Hold on a minute. That can't be the only thing. No way. That's not the only thing. Where's that fiery looking room? This'll do. Is it the same every time? The heck was this place? That is weird, man. Well, that was severely underwhelming. I was getting into that. That could have gone so many different directions and been so cool. Oh, well. Like, it could have been an actual Lost Woods style maze or. So yeah, you can hear that harp music. That's different. It's interesting after playing games on normal speakers for so many years to play through so many games with headphones. Because when I'm recording stuff by myself and whatnot, I, uh, I use headphones. And... I just, I've never been somebody who used headphones for games all that often, but they use stereo sound so much. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, 
So, like, depending on which side of me she's on, I can hear the harp at different sounds. Like, here, it's the left side. Here, it's the right one. And if you're watching this with headphones later, you'll get what I'm talking about. It's just interesting. Anyhow. Howdy, Medley. What's up? Yep. I saw he's grown a lot. Mm-hmm. Really? But he barely met me. I feel like they wanted to have more of a relationship established between Link Medley and Prince Kamali. And I'm wondering if there would have been more events involving them had they had the time to develop this game. And it feels just rushed this way. They're always so focused on Link, and yet Link's just this tiny little part of their lives. Um, whereas just imagine if you'd gotten to do stuff with them and see the characters develop, see Prince Kamali get stronger. Imagine if you'd gotten to help him with some stuff, or help Medley with some stuff, and really grow attached to the characters. This whole thing would have made a whole lot more sense. As is, it just feels kind of, uh, like, kind of like a bigger story was compressed into a smaller space and didn't quite fit. Anyway. <laughs> I just realized... I did something wrong because you know what you know what I need oh wow a big enough fall to actually take damage I didn't remember that was a thing in this game do you know what I need what I need to do is go back to that island that I passed up before because I couldn't lift to the big face statue thing. Yeah, you'll do. I need to get a song by going into that cave, and then I need to come back here to Dragon Roost and do the thing with Medley. And I forgot the order of steps. So, uh, oops. All right, Mr. Face Person. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what I need. Down, down, center, right, left, center. Apologies if that was out of sync. As always, my audio just is that way. You learn the Earth God's lyric. And this is how that we, uh, this is how we know that the Rito are descended from the Zora. Still isn't explained Breath of the Wild, but uh, what the hey? <laughs> Hello, Laruto. So wait, 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 wait. Was there a Zora still praying in here while there were Rito outside? Cause that's a crazy thought. Imagine if they met. Anyway, getting off topic. <laughs> yeah. Could we possibly seal him away for all time for once? Well, actually, no, that'd end the series, and I don't want that to happen. Never mind. Sorry. Hmm. 
Well, we just saw that. <laughs> Link, uh, Link's reacting fairly appropriately. He doesn't know what to make of any of this. You know, something that just struck me. I've played this game for so long and gotten so used to, uh, Link's green outfit. That it was weird when I started playing this and he just had this outfit. And now... Whenever I play it again, it's just going to be weird getting used to it the other way. Anyhow. It'll make this episode a little bit longer. Let's go awaken the new Earth Sage. Not the Wind Sage. Even though she's a bird. And we have a tree guy later. Who could totally be the Earth Sage. No, we have to awaken the Earth Sage, who is a bird. And then later awaken the Wind Sage, who is a tree. Because of reasons. I mean, I guess the, the Koroks can fly, but... Eh. You gotta admit, it's a little weird. Well, you've seen this trek before, so I'm gonna cut it out. Sorry, well, hold on. Mail call. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. At least I didn't have to pay to have my hands get spat on this time. I mean, uh... Oh, yeah, the letter from Ariel. Ariel? Ariel. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> well, thank you. Wow. Nice. Should have been. Sure. Ah. Uh. Cheat using the gamepad here. I love the music. You know, the animation started off in sync with the music, but it didn't end that way. Would have been really hard, probably. But I love that they used the main song of the game. Sorry about that. Your noise. So gently, it didn't even warrant a text box. Uh. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love this theme. Gotta love this theme. You've just gotta love this theme. And we have a passenger. Well, I'm going to set off towards our destination. Might warp there, might not. Probably won't, actually. But that's going to be all for this episode of Unwanker HD. Next time, we start on the Earth Temple. Thank you very much for watching, and remember... Jesus loves you.